Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's news desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I'll be reviewing the 2022 film Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is directed by Sam Raimi, written by Michael Waldron, and stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen, Sochi Gomez, Benedict Wong, and Rachel McAdams. This is a Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm, and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie review. Sam Raimi is one of the most consistently proficient filmmakers working today. With at least two masterpieces on his very distinguished resume, Raimi knows how to command the audience's attention whether he's directing a competent dramatic thriller or a superhero film. When one of the best actors working today, Benedict Cumberbatch, is guided through a complex, chaotic whirlwind of a plot by Raimi's direction, it's a surefire recipe for success. Although the marvelously entertaining new picture, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, doesn't come up for air during the course of its two hour plus running time, it doesn't need to in order to successfully fulfill its promise as one of the best of the early summer blockbusters of 2022. Cumberbatch once again portrays Doctor Stephen Strange, aka Defender Strange, who is being dragged through adventures alongside the teenage girl America Chavez as the film opens with a visual effects saturated sequence guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Soon, Dr. Strange is at the wedding of the great love of his life, Dr. Christine Palmer, when a one-eyed octopus strikes right there in New York City making for a fun battle through the streets. Appropriately, Wong shows up to help our heroes out. This film really takes off with the character of Wanda Maximoff, whose alternate identity is, of course, the Scarlet Witch. This character is the most compelling in the film, and Olsen chews scenery left and right as she is torn between universes through the love for her two children and her goals of defeating Doctor Strange in order to fulfill her own wicked schemes. The always reliable Chiwetel Ejiofor is cast in the film as Baron Mordo, whose presence complicates an already complex storyline. The most fun of the subplots the film offers is a midsection that includes the presence of Charles Xavier, but saying any more would take away from the surprises of the twisty plot, which the movie proudly wears on its sleeve. When McAdams and Cumberbatch reevaluate their current situation in the movie, romantic and otherwise, there is terrific chemistry between these two stars, which makes these scenes incredibly fun to watch. It is through the dramatic tension created by Cumberbatch's Strange and Olsen's Scarlet Witch that Raimi steers this movie towards the tremendous success it ultimately becomes, however. Olsen revels in playing her character to the point that we could really understand her desires and goals, whether they're good or bad. Sometimes we feel sorry for the Scarlet Witch, but no, we're always meant to root for Strange, so the picture goes back and forth explaining the motivations of the characters, and these driving forces of the principal players is always captivating to watch. Raimi doesn't miss a trick. He even gets none other than Bruce Campbell to steal the show early on as a street vendor. Of course, Raimi knows he has the Evil Dead fans, who will be thrilled to see Campbell playing a uniquely hilarious part in the new movie. Olsen is the film's most valuable player, and she runs away with this film every time she appears on screen with Cumberbatch always close behind her in hot pursuit of getting the movie back from her when she steals it from underneath him. The Scarlet Witch has more humanity than a typical villain possesses, and is, without a doubt, captured to perfection by Olsen, who is one of the most underrated actresses. Cumberbatch and Sochi Gomez are amazingly well matched and literally run around in scenes in the picture without ever becoming tired or boring as their respective characters. Whatever portal they end up going through, they always end up in a multiverse which is fascinating to behold thanks to Raimi's direction which moves the film along at a fast clip. There is a sequence where Scarlet Witch chases them through a tunnel of sorts that has to be seen to be believed and is truly among the best scenes Raimi has ever filmed. Let's not forget Benedict Wong, who has never been better or more heroic than in his work in this movie. 
Strange even gets a third eye in the movie to make audiences question which way the next chapter in the movie series will take him. There is a mid credit sequence and an after credit scene, so stay put as the credits roll. Raimi has added another notable effort to his growing list of fine movies. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness takes much inspiration from his best superhero movie, Spider-Man 2. The opening octopus scene in particular feels quite inspired, yet is completely unique at the same time. Olsen and Cumberbatch are an opposite sides dream team with Xochi Gomez a terrific third wheel. McAdams is always charming and her work in this film is no exception. Watch for, the, watch for the early scene at the wedding where she tells Strange something about their relationship in which Strange offers a hilarious clapback. You'll be completely immersed in the action as Strange bounces all around the multiverse. Whether he's living or dead in the universe he ends up in, there is great fun to be had wherever he winds up. These actors in the movie are all at the top of their game. Cumberbatch and Olsen move this movie along at the speed of lightning with Olsen always trying to cut a step ahead of Cumberbatch and mostly succeeding. Considering that I think Benedict Cumberbatch deserved the Best Actor Oscar for The Power of the Dog, it's no small feat for Olsen to steal the spotlight from him. Olsen is an actress to keep an eye on. Strange would be keeping three eyes on her, perhaps, but for everybody else, focus both eyes on this actress. She's a treasure in a film directed by one of the best movie makers Hollywood has to offer. Raimi did not disappoint with this terrifically entertaining picture. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Filmbook Trailers. Thank you for viewing and you can watch one of these reviews next.